today is the 27th of June and today we have woke up and with a very beautiful sun and today I think it will be very hot again and yesterday it also was very hot and yeah and you can see the sun up begin to come up on the mountains and daddy are fixing the video Hello, Hello Daddy, what are you doing? I'm trying to upload videos, but the internet is very slow, so yeah. I'm not sure if it works. Yeah, and this is to all of them so that are seeing our videos. It takes some a little time, but we're making videos. I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> the our internet best. works. Yeah. Our best. Mm -hmm. Okay, good morning. Today we are doing nothing mm -hmm. apart from eating. <laughs> And resting. And washing clothes. <laughs> washing clothes. The lady just told us it's going to be 40 degrees here today, so that sounds nice. So it's good we're not biking today. Very nice. It's it's good news. Oh, and now I want to say the wheel is it's not a good news <laughs> because it's so warm. Hmm. And today we were sleeping at, in. I was working up five o'clock or so, and it was actually very hot. And it's the same some in Denmark in the daytime, maybe in the, in the morning. But here it was nearly in the nighttime, it was so warm. It's yeah. very warm. Isn't it? Yeah. Now we've got nice breakfast, got some nice jams and that she makes herself. And the uh, eggs, they come from the chickens you can see over there. They're all very fresh stuff here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the plan now. Just have a rest. We're all tired mm. and recover. So, this place is heating up nicely now. We spent two and a half hours having our breakfast. So that was great, no need to rush today. Just sit and enjoy the view here. My clothes are being washed down there. We're just working down there, trying to get everything hung up. Shouldn't be a problem to dry it in this place. So, yeah, we'll just uh, stay here and have a rest. Don't have to worry about our clothes being dry. Yeah, that's easily gonna dry. It doesn't take long. In this heat. Oh. So Jamie's resting here. Well deserved rest. Is it good? Yeah. It's 40 degrees here today, so I'm just trying to clean the bikes over there. Even that feels like hard work. That's <laughs> good we're not biking today. So that's a nice place to rest here. Yeah. So we keep getting comments from people telling us to eat more, so we're doing our best here tonight. Another nice dinner here, Armenian style. Gonna be our last bottle of wine for a long time. It's in Iran, there's no alcohol. Maybe Coca-Cola. Yes, and that's Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not because that we don't eat, but others try and bike 50, 70 kilometers a day, then it's difficult not to lose a bit of weight. <laughs> but we do eat a lot. Yes, as much as we can. <laughs> Especially food, or this is really good. So we'll just sit here and enjoy another dinner. That's basically what we've done today. <laughs> not much else. That's Please. not true. We're doing practical stuff as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. No sights. And washing. Washing clothes and, and cleaning bikes, yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Did something. Okay, good morning. This is our second day here in uh, Megri in Armenia. And our last day in Armenia. Yeah. So we'll do a quick looking back at Armenia like we've been doing the other countries. So we've been here what? Just under two weeks. So um, we started up in the north and now we're in the south. We took a, went first to Gumri and then we took a train to Yerevan. And then we've been biking eight days from Yerevan to um, Migri. Migri. So, uh, yeah, what do we think of Armenia? Hmm. Hilly. Hilly. <laughs> Hilly, but beautiful landscape and, uh, yeah, and good scenery. Mm. But yeah. it's good country to, you want to go up hills and have good views, so come to Armenia. Mm. I will say first the mountains because it's very beautiful up on the top to look out and see how Armenia is. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, and the roads are okay. Yeah, good roads. Yeah, yeah pretty good roads really. Apart from uh, Tatev to uh, Kapan, but that was a dirt track and that was a 
intentionally we took the dirt track. There could have been another road we could have taken. But uh, we chose the dirt track and that was quite good. So apart from that, good roads really. And it took uh, us eight days of biking from uh, Yerevan and here to Migri. And we could do it, but it has been a little hard. Maybe it's better to have a few more days to do it because it, it is hilly, it takes time. Mm. It's a lot of up and down. But yeah. We do it, but we think it's been a bit hard. Yeah. Didn't have much say, choice though, did we? Because we had to be here to get to the border. And it's been yes. very green and nice landscape from Yerevan and nearly all the way down to Migri. But I must say, the last mountain here down to Migri that took a breath out of me and not in a good way really. The landscape changed completely and it's been easy for water and everything on the way. Nice and green and everything and then we just came over the last mountain here to Migri and then everything changed. Everything was dry and brown and not so many water posts as we were spoiled with on the the other side so they're completely different and very hot here down towards Migri. So, yeah. so mm. it, complete change mm -hmm. just over one mountain. We had a good uh, weekend in Yerevan as well. I was actually surprised to see. I didn't realize Yerevan was going to be such a modern place. Right in the center of Yerevan. So uh, we were lucky that the World Cup had just started so we could watch football. So yeah. extremely impressed with the uh, Yerevan actually in the center. Didn't have to go far from the center until a lot of the factories are closed down and buildings are in a disrepair but in the center of Yerevan extremely modern. We really so, enjoy that. Yeah. But uh, it's maybe because it's extra better because the football are going on. Mm. Maybe when you're going and it's not football it will be a little bit boring. <laughs> football <laughs> does much better. That was a big highlight for Jamie was the Football World Cup in Yerevan. <laughs> yes. And the people have seemed very friendly here in Armenia as well. Mm. Um, the sad thing that we have seen and thought about was uh, all the closed down factories that we have seen they have probably been work, working um, while Armenia was still a part of the Soviet Union uh, but a lot of them are just closed down now and that's been sad to see they're just abandoned yeah and uh, what else attractions we haven't seen so many attractions probably Tatev Monastery was the only real attraction Wings of Tatev excellent place really good uh, even though you've been on lots of cable cars on skiing holidays, still an experience to take the wings of Tatu. We really enjoyed that. So. And uh, there's Armenian food, and uh, here it's allowed to you're allowed to drink alcohol, um, not like the countries that are surrounding us. So uh, yeah. we can actually drink wine here, beer. Um, you drink coffee as well. Coffee here, yeah. <laughs> like those kind of things, then you can do that here. And we had very yeah. good food. I must say, that's a big part of the. The experience of traveling for us is also the food, and we have enjoyed that a lot here in Armenia as well. Mm, yeah, 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 really good food, yeah. So. Yeah, and there are more vegetables or meat. There are more vegetables or yeah, meat. Yeah, we have got so a lot of vegetables here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So. And lots of coriander. Uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, coriander uh, and uh, leaves from little flowers or kind of things. Yes, there are here. Herbs? Yeah. Herbs. Yeah. So that basically was Armenia. We've had a good time here, really pleased we came. Um, didn't plan to come, but really, really enjoyed it. Maybe a bit hilly, but yeah, really worth it. Really, really worth it. So, next from here is uh, Iran. Tomorrow we'll get up early and have breakfast here, head to the border. And uh, should be a guide to collect us, put our bikes in a van, and then uh, drive us to a town called Tabriz. And then from there, the day after, we'll be going to Tehran meet up with Meta's parents and Pierre Kirsten and then uh, basically we're on holiday for 10 days we're going to be going to um, towns of uh, Kashan, Yats, Isafan and then back to Tehran again in a car in a minibus <laughs> looking forward to not biking actually <laughs> yeah so that'll be kind of holiday no biking leave the bikes in Tehran I think and uh, so uh, that's it really, there'll be um, officially there's no Facebook or YouTube there, 500 of the main websites in the world are closed down in um, Iran so we may be offline for a few weeks but um, when we get out of Iran then we'll put the videos on Facebook later then so a bit of catching up to do. <laughs> but, uh, oh I just yeah. got something to add, it's been nice staying in the bed and breakfast here in the town by the board and there's been a lot of uh, young couples traveling through oh, here yeah, yeah. to and from 
Iran people from uh, Ireland and Germany, Germany yeah, Poland, yeah. France, mm -hmm. and so on. And they've been staying here one or two nights, like to and from Iran, and they have been mm. uh, hitchhiking -hike or traveling by bus and things. So many travelers here, that's quite funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that was really good, yeah. Yesterday morning we had uh, breakfast with a German couple and uh, got some tips from them. And then uh, yesterday evening we had a great dinner with a couple from uh, Ireland. They've been living in Australia for well, yeah, some years, I think, and now they're traveling home. But on the way home, they've just seen the whole world as they go. <laughs> that was yeah. really great. That was really yeah, great. They're flying around too. Yeah. Mainly flying around to different places. But yeah. yeah, funny to experience their way of traveling as well. Yeah, that was really good to yeah. talk to them. Yeah, yeah. So. So um, that's it really, that's it, no biking for a few weeks and then uh, we'll be back. Next time we'll be biking will be Uzbekistan and uh, we'll see if we can cope with the heat. That's probably going to be the biggest challenge of the next few months because it's pretty hot. I'll show you the weather now. I want to go back to Euro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we thought it was hot in our here then uh, I'll show you the weather now. You can have a quick look at that to see what the weather forecast looks like in this part of the world. Boring, eh? Just the same every day. <laughs> 40 degrees every day. <laughs> but um, that's what it's like, yeah. Probably going to be worse, I think. And then we've got a desert to bike through in Uzbekistan, so we'll see how we get on with that. We're not sure yet. Didn't but, know uh, that. It, uh, that should be really good. We're going to be going to. Um, Bukhara. Yeah, we're going to be going to Bukhara, Samarkand, Tashkent, Bishkek. Really good uh, places on the Silk Road. So that should be really exciting if we can cope with the heat. We'll see. I'm a bit worried, but always am. Yeah. Get used to it. <laughs> so that's it, really. We'll probably see you in a few weeks. We're just gonna do a few things and just start doing a few servicing on the bike and yeah, a few small things and have a rest. I even try and read a book, haven't done that since we started, but uh, not sure yet. But uh, that's it, really. We'll uh, enjoy the rest of the day and uh, go to the border tomorrow. So Maybe we'll see you in here and maybe we'll see you in a few weeks, but uh, okay. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>